Hello everybody and welcome to a little scouting mode tutorial. So I want to share you some thoughts about why I like scouting mode and how I play it or how I like to play it. So scouting mode, for all of you who don't know it, it is a part of the faction play and you are playing 4 versus 4 with only lights or mediums. So as you can see we have four players on the map for each team. That is really really cool because then every shot counts. You can't hide behind your fatties, you just have to play really really good. And yeah again that's what I like about that. Now the objective is these little beacons that you can see below there. Uh, you have to collect them as the one team and the other team has to prevent you to do so. So. You can totally counter cap as I'm doing here. As you can see in the upper left corner, I have to eliminate the attackers to prevent their escape via the extraction zone. But the dropship to the extraction zone comes when either side has gotten 10 of these intel points. So I'm just counter capturing them so that the enemy team has it more difficult to that to capture them. So I'm um, back to the topic. The scouting mode is again four versus four, and you're playing only against lights or mediums. That means that you don't need that much ammo. You can reduce it a bit. I have, as you can see, only 40 shells for my LB-10 and 300 missiles for my SRM. That is very important to keep in mind. You use your tonnage for some more weapons or heat sinks or jump jets or armor or a bigger engine. So um, don't put all of your ammo in that uh, which you would normally do in quick play. I do as well like to play uh, DPS builds. As you can see I have an LB-10 which isn't that hot of a weapon and some SRMs. I don't want high alpha, high energy builds that run hot because again you're playing against lights and mediums and they can get into your backs very easily. And another thing I should mention here is don't use LRMs because again you're playing against lights and mediums and they can close in on you very fast. So we are just going in and try to push them as much as possible. There is an Arctic Cheetah on the right and I'm suppressing him so that he is out of the fight and my team can just focus on the LRM boat. What's super important is that you communicate with your team and focus your fire. When you can take out one enemy fast then you have an advantage by 25%. Again you are playing only 4 versus 4 so one down is a huge deal. And as you can see I'm playing with a flamer here because I like to yeah, overheat my enemies. I have the cooler weapon and I can keep it up a longer time and eventually the, the enemy will just run hard and I'm helping out with the flamer a bit. So I like the cheetah is also down and there's only one storm crow left. But I think he will be taken down in a second. Yeah, that was kind of a display of how not to do it on the enemy team. They had a big disadvantage because of their LRM carrier and we just went in and DPS them down. So the storm crow is down and we can have a look at the end screen. It doesn't matter that much here because scouting it's all about killing fast and killing early. Uh, but let's have a look at it and see how much damage I dealt. Alright, take that one away. And 402 damage with 4 killing blows, 2 solo kills, 2 kill most damage, dealt, 5 components destroyed. Again, that is not that important yet. We just needed to win the game. So let's dig into the next one so that I can show you a more agile approach. Alright, so this time we are on the attacking side and we need to gather the intel and as you can see the enemy already has decapped five of them. But it's getting close really really fast here so the Stormcrow it obviously ignored me and now I'm trying to get an easy kill in his back and my team is trying to do as well. But unfortunately we have to go down here where the enemy team is waiting for us and at least we got some of his weapons off. That's also very important if you can just rip the enemy off his weapons. Every laser counts, every SRM counts, every flamer counts. So if you can just decimate the team one by one if you can't take them down very fast. And that's what I'm trying with the Nova here. The Nova it has all of his weapons in the arm and therefore I'm trying to get at least one of his arms down. But I have been pushed back by that Stormcrow here with her streak loadout. And what I'm trying to do now is I try to heat her up. I'm constantly firing my flamer that of course racks up a lot of heat and as you can see I'm at max heat and unfortunately I overheated here at that point. That was not very smart. Again I wanted to out DPS them and not overheat. But again I was just yeah, firing my flamer and I wasn't paying attention to that. So now we are going after the Nova, but apparently she has no weapons. So let's switch targets again, kill the Stormcrow or at least cripple her. So one streak less on that one and now it's just time to finish the job. So the Stormcrow is the last enemy on the battlefield and now it's pretty safe to just 
Yeah. Kill her. As you can see, I've lost all of my LB10 ammo, but that's not a problem because I still have some SRMs. And again, by at that point of the game, it should be just over. So no problem with that. Got the kill on her, and now we can easily just run around the map and collect our precious intel. So that was a quick display of how I like to play scouting mode. I like to get close, I want DPS weapons and not high alpha weapons that deal a lot of heat. And I really like to focus fire, so don't take LRMs, don't take too much ammo, take a medium mag that can deal a lot of damage over the time and just yeah, wait for your enemy to overheat. All you need is some defensive skill and a decent amount of torso twisting and you're fine. So let's have a look at the end screen of that game and then that's it for today. So 605 damage, one killing blow, three assists, one killing most damage down. Again, that's not that important in the scouting mode. And I really hope that you learned something today and if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.